This video will cover sharing data publicly in Lab Archives. You can share data publicly by using a share URL or by creating a DOI. Your institution may prevent you from sharing data publicly or they may use DOI permissions. You can share a single entry by clicking the gear icon and selecting Share. You can share a page by selecting Share in the Page Tools. Or you can share any item in the Notebook Navigator by right-clicking and selecting Share. On the URL to Share tab of the Share dialog, you will see a link like this. You could copy and paste this link into an email, and if someone has access to this data, they can follow this link to view this part of the notebook. If your institution allows public sharing, notebook owners and administrators can select Allow Anyone to View publicly accessible to anyone on the Internet. If your institution prevents public sharing, you will see a message like this. If this data is shared publicly, anyone with access to this link, with or without a Lab Archives account, can view it. At any point, you can remove public access by deselecting Allow Anyone to View Publicly Accessible to Anyone on the Internet. A Digital Object Identifier, or DOI, is indexed in perpetuity by the International DOI Foundation. URLs can change or disappear, but a DOI is a permanent way to share your data. To create a DOI, go to the DOI Management tab of the Share dialog. Your DOI can link to the page in its current state, or you can treat it as a live document by selecting the most recent version of this page. You can also allow visitors to view previous or future versions of this page. This allows visitors to see the full history of the data. You can customize the Author, Title, and Publisher fields, and finally click Create DOI. Your institution may require that you get permission to create a DOI. A designated individual at your institution will be added to this part of the notebook as a view-only guest. To provide them with more information, you can add a note for them. While the DOI is pending, you will see it listed here. You can resend the request or delete the request. The DOI grantor will receive an email notification and an activity feed notification about the request. The grantor can view the DOI request by selecting DOI Permission Requests in the Utilities. The DOI grantor can view a specific request by clicking the drop-down menu here. The DOI grantor will review this page and they can approve or deny the request by clicking Approve or Deny. If the DOI is approved, the DOI will be made. Either way, the DOI can provide a note with comments and select if they would like to be removed as a guest from the notebook. Once they click Approve DOI, the DOI will be made. If your DOI is approved, you will see it listed on the DOI Management tab of the Share dialog. To view a denied DOI, click Show Denied DOI Requests. To view any notes made by the grantor, hover your mouse over the Comments icon. When an anonymous user views the DOI, it will look like this. If you want to learn more about tools available in Lab Archives, please check out our knowledge base, available at the purple I at the top right, by selecting the word Help. As always, if you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to us at support at labarchives.com.